All right, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to create a script that controls the achievement item and will update the achievement item based on whether the achievement is locked or unlocked. So for starters, I'm going to go ahead and drag our prefab which is into the content just so we can see what's going on. Next, I'm going to go to our scripts, create new script. I'm going to call this one achievement item controller. And again, once that's compiled, we're going to go ahead and drag it onto our achievement item and open it up in Visual Studio. Same thing as always, we're going to use it, we're going to include our community engine.ui namespace. And uh, this time we're going to take a couple of fields. So we're going to need the text field for the title. Then we're also going to need the field for the description and above this I'm also going to take uh, I'm going to copy this call this image and take the unlocked icon and also the locked icon now on top of all this I'm going to expose a new variable called public bool and call it unlocked and I'm also going to add a achievement variable and this is going to be the achievement that the UI displays and uh, so if we go back to unity and take a look at that real quick we can uh, once it compiles go ahead and drag all the items so unlocked locked our title, our description. As you can see, the achievement is blank, but we'll be able to set it through code or also do it through here. Simple achievement. There we go. Now, if we go back to our code, I'm going to create a new public void refresh view function. And all this is basically going to do is it's going to take all the data out of the achievement and update the UI. So for starters, I want to set the title labels text to whatever the achievement that title is. Then I want to check, set the description labels text to whatever the achievement's description is. And here, I'm actually going to make it to where the unlocked uh, locked icon dot enabled equals to the unlocked variable. So if this is set to true, the unlocked icon will be enabled. If it's set to false, it will be disabled. And I'm going to do the opposite for the locked icon. I'm going to make it where if this is unlocked, not will make it false, then it will be uh, disabled. And if it is uh, locked, then this will end up being true and the locked icon will be enabled. Now, I'm also going to do one other thing. I'm going to override a method called um, onValidate. And this only gets called in the editor whenever you change the settings. And I wanted to just automatically refresh the view. And that's all for our achievement item controller. If we go back to Unity real quick and wait for it to compile, you might actually notice it will immediately change. So if I hit unlocked, you'll see the icon will show up. And if I add a description, some long description, you'll see it will also update in the UI. Now, in the next video, we're going to create a script that will automatically populate this uh, scroll view with all the available achievements. Alright, see you next time.